So all we've done up to this point is amplify, uh, amplify a little bitty AC signal that comes out of your guitar. We've noticed that it has two characteristics. It's quiet, so it's got to be amplified by a preamp and a power amp, and it's super focused in the mid range and should, and it goes through a tone stack to sculpt that tonal spectrum so it sounds more um, kind of more well-rounded. Now all of this results in a tonally balanced, loud. AC signal coming out of an amplifier. Now, if you have a combo amp with a match speaker built right in, then you're good to go, just plug and play. If you have a standalone amp here, we have need to uh, match that to move speaker, so we have just a little bit more work to do. But first up, how do speakers work? They are basically the opposite of your pickup. Um, actually more like the opposite of a dynamic mic like your trusty SM57 down here where they take an AC signal and put it through a coil of wire that induces a magnetic field that interacts with a large magnet and that coil of wire that, that, that sits inside that magnet vibrates the speaker cone in an analogy to that AC signal that you, you, know, finally, uh, you finally hear your guitar through there just like a microphone in reverse. In fact, you can actually take a speaker and wire it up to a mic pre and it'll work. There are actually some variations on this with some sub mics that are used on um, uh, kick drums that more, look more like speakers than mics, but, but I digress, right? Now, the frequency range of an electric guitar doesn't um, reach too high above, you know, maybe five, maybe eight K. So the speakers that are used normally don't produce, you know, much of anything uh, higher than that. Now, in terms of specs, you'll be looking for a few things in terms of speakers. Uh, some speakers, uh, you know, uh, sorry, most speakers come in sizes from five, uh, sorry, from eight to 15 inch. Generally, the smaller the speaker, the brighter the sound, the larger the speaker, the warmer it is. The, the larger speaker has more mass to move, so it tends to slow down the transients a bit um, and generally present you with a warmer sound. I would say for the most part, the most common size in terms of guitar speakers would be 10s or 12s. Some specs that you want to keep in mind when matching speakers to amps is the RMS rating and the nominal impedance. The RMS wattage should be about twice what the amp can comfortably uh, put out. Things can be a little tricky with how manufacturers uh, rate the output of an amp. They'll probably rate the amp's wattage uh, as the maximum when uh, when clean, although you know you know that when you crank up an amp, it can be putting out a heck of a lot more than than that just uh, than that conservative rating. The two to one rating of your speaker is a good conservative uh, kind of go to uh, equation. Now, uh, speaker impedance is a big one as you really need to match this to the load that the amp is expecting to push. Let's say your amp is rated at 100 watts into 4 ohms. That means that it can safely push that wattage into an array, uh, into a speaker or an array of speakers that provide that amount of resistance. Connect that amp to a 16 ohm uh, load and you could damage the output of the amp as it tries to push through uh, that voltage. Now, if the speaker or speaker have a lower impedance than the amp is expecting uh, to see, then you can overheat and actually burn out that amplifier. Now, if you have um, if you have multiple speaker encloses, then there are a few ways to to wire them up. You can do series or parallel or even a combination of the two. Here's how to calculate uh, their impedance.